This time they came after my mum, but I'm not going to let them get away with it because actually this situation is fairly straightforward. So with a bit of a short and swift intervention, hopefully this is resolved. But if it's not, I will be there to help. Now, Euro Car Parks issued a parking charge notice because she went to a restaurant for 39 minutes, put the registration number in the panel inside the restaurant, which is supposed to notify the car park management, Euro Car Parks, who managed the car park, that the vehicle was there with the permission of the restaurant because they ate at the restaurant. Now, obviously they sent out a parking charge notice to the value of £100 and that should not be valid. So a short conversation later, I said, just go back to the restaurant, have a chat with them, get hold of the receipt for what you paid at the restaurant, all of which proves that you were at the restaurant and paying there to eat and were allowed to park in the car park. And so sure enough, having been back to the car park, they've now said that they've canceled this parking charge notice. But when we try to confirm it by going to the website and trying to ring them up and so on, it's only an automated payment line. Now, the reason for this video is that lots of people have come to me just recently and said, it's really frustrating that these companies tend not to have a phone number that you can ring and speak to a human being and say, here's what's happened. Can you please sort it out? Thank you for contacting Eurocar Parks. To pay your parking charge notice, please press 1. Please note, we cannot discuss any queries relating to parking charge notices over the phone. All inquiries must be made in writing with no exception. Because ideally, someone on the end of the phone would just say, OK, what's the issue? Well, this happened, that happened, and this isn't payable. You shouldn't have issued it. It's an error. Whoops, sorry about that. Cancelled off the system and all's done. Now, as I said, when she went to the restaurant, that is what they said. They said they'd cancelled it off the system. But we can't get that confirmed with Euro Car Park. So uh, aside from writing to them, which I think is a huge waste of time, I don't really know what else they expect us to do. But then when we look at the technicalities of this, it says the contravention was no valid pay and display permit was purchased. But you don't need to purchase a pay and display permit if you're eating in the restaurant because they validate the parking. So that's a bit silly as it is. And so this video really is to assure anybody that if you've been to a restaurant like that where they do validate the parking, however pedantic this might seem, I always take a photograph of the machine when I put the registration number in because if in the event the machine doesn't register it properly or it doesn't go from the restaurant to the parking management company properly or for whatever other reason it's not registered properly and they send you a parking charge notice and they eventually take you to court because some of them do i can then produce a photograph to say here's the photograph of me putting the registration number in the machine and the parking charge notice is not valid because i complied with your terms and conditions i put my registration in and so that should be the end of that now that sounds a bit pedantic but because of the experiences that i've had both myself and all the complaints that we've had from clients or prospective clients because not many people want to pay a lawyer to go and fight a parking charge notice because they are, as it says here, reduced to £60 if it's paid within 14 days, otherwise £100. So no one really wants to go to a lawyer over £100, especially when you'd think it's just a bit silly in the first place. But ultimately, these companies might take you to court even though it's over £100 and you will ultimately have to defend it if you don't want to pay it. But if you've got somewhere to store the evidence, and that's one of the reasons we developed Proofify, which is an app, which I'll link in the description below, where you can store your evidence of these things, you set and forget, and if ever you need to go back to it, it's got the date stamp and everything else, so you can take the photograph, you can store it there, you know where you were, when you did it, and what it was for, and if six, eight, 10, 15, whatever weeks later, they've got six years to chase you for these things if you don't pay them. So long as they've complied with the time limits to serve the notice to keep it and so on, England and Wales, I'm talking about it different in Scotland, but they can take you to court for the parking charge notice. Some people still argue that that's not the case, but the Beavers and Parking Eye case went all the way to the Supreme Court arguing over the parking charge notice, mainly whether or not it was a penalty or whether it was unfair and so on. But 
Supreme Court said, broadly speaking, in that case, that level of fee was not a penalty, was not unfair, and thus was enforceable. So if you are taken to court, you do need to rest on some kind of defence. Either the contravention didn't occur, or in some other cases, the signs were not clear, the signs were too far away. In one case I heard about this morning, there were no signs at all, which really is quite straightforward. No signs mean you can't comply with the terms because there was no sign. But if the terms are ambiguous, unfair or anything else, then they can all work in your favour as well. There should also be a physical address for these places. Now a look at this one here, it does provide a physical address, but I do know that some of them only give a PO box address. That is not good enough, at least for parking charge notices. But all in all, you shouldn't panic over these things because whilst it wasn't resolved in a phone call, it took a visit back to the restaurant to get this resolved. To their credit, they did resolve it very quickly, so long as we don't receive anything else from Euro car parks. So I'm hoping that we don't. I'm hoping that's the end of that. And if it's not, I'll be there to defend it. So if any of you have had anything similar to that, do let me know. I'd be interested in taking a look at those. Do please make sure you subscribe to my channel for these useful tidbits here and there and keep my channel growing. But in the meantime, thank you for watching and have a great weekend.